Well, I've always been interested in flat pattern and mixtures of pattern and patterns that have been put together and I've collected a patchwork quilt and things like this, my favourite thing that we have in the house. And then, uh, although printmaking was really my thing, one day I made a card for a friend, a birthday card, and it was very like this. I think they made this at the same time and thought, oh, that puts everything together, all my interests together in one place. And that was it. When I start a piece of work, um, I will often just work directly um, with the collage, with the cut piece of paper. I'll, I'll have a piece of card and I'll cut, cut it directly out. I know exactly what I'm doing and so I'll work in that way. Other times I'll make a little tiny sketch so that I know what I'm doing and, uh, and I'll be trying out different ideas. I usually just ditch those and they're only the size of a, um, a matchbox, little tiny, tiny sketches. So over the years I've collected thousands and thousands of pieces of paper uh, from magazines and newspapers, the insides of envelopes, um, packaging, wrapping paper, all sorts of things and they're all sorted into trays. So this is the tray of patterned, very small patterned, I've got another tray of large patterned to the tray of the black and white and they've all come from di different places and if I just think they're going to be useful then I collect them. Favourite papers are newspaper uh, principally because it's, it, it goes down so flat and matte uh, and then uh, best of all uh, the, uh, the review section in, um, on, a, on a Saturday is, is the, this lovely splodgy um, spot and they use a very slightly thicker newsprint. It's still newsprint, but it's very slightly thicker. And that is absolutely lovely to work with. This uh, is a gorgeous piece of paper. This was a carrier bag that my daughter brought back from Brazil. And this is from Tiger. It's an absolute favourite piece of paper of mine. And uh, we got it when we were on holiday in France and had gone into a charcuterie. I think we bought some pate or ham or something like that. And uh, and they did, as the French do, they wrapped it very nicely in greaseproof paper. And then they wrapped it in this. I couldn't believe my eyes. And sweet papers, sweet wrappings from Belgium. This is an absolute favorite of mine, but it's on card. It's much too thick to cut out. So uh, what I do, and I've used it loads of times, um, I photocopy it and then I can keep using it over and over again. What I use to make my collages, really simple stuff and costs virtually nothing. And it's just a pair of scissors and a glue stick, a piece of card and some old newspapers. And when I think of how some people have to, uh, printmakers for example, with presses and ink and uh, things that they have to roll the, the ink out on and goodness knows what else, and this is all I've got, anyone can do it. There are lots of lovely places to visit in Sussex. I was brought up in Eastbourne and we uh, used to spend our summers down on the beach. Eastbourne Beach is delightful, especially as you uh, go down towards the towards Beachy Head and the cliffs begin just there. That's the downs literally ending, dropping into the sea at that point. And, uh, we used to walk under the cliffs and walk right round to uh, Beachy Head. It, it was wonderful, magical. Uh, and, the, and the downs, of course, are heavenly. Uh, uh, if you drive along uh, 
the north escarpment of the downs with a low light uh, so that the uh, folds of the downs are caught in the shadows. It's almost heartbreaking. It's so beautiful and, uh, and I've known it all my life. Uh, now last year I did a piece of work for uh, the Green Show up at the barn in Seaford. Now I produced that piece of work which has got everything in it. It's got sheep and, and the cliffs and boats and all sorts of other things in it. And when I'd finished it I still wanted to carry on working uh, with that view in mind which I, I knew so well. And so I did another version Instantly, straight away after I'd done that one, I did another one. and uh, But this time I honed it down to the absolute basic uh, elements of that view. So we just had the barn, the cottages, the cliffs and the wind sculpted trees. So exactly the same view but a completely different take on it. And I love doing those.